Hi y'all, it's Britt. So I wanted to do a little mini series of little Valentine projects. I know it's after Valentine's Day, but um, I still have swaps I'm working on and things. So, you know, kind of February is the month to celebrate, uh, bleh, I can't talk, celebrate Valentine's and um, love and caring about each other and all that kind of stuff. So, um, Valentine's threw up on my desk. <laughs> You can't see the half the pile over here right now or the pile all the way around. You can see part of it. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go through and we're going to do some different projects. So for this first video of the series, um, I am going to basically put together a ladybug paper clip with you. Super simple. I already cut out everything and pieced it together, so... Um, I'll let you know everything I used. So for everything I made a sample because I have to make four of everything. So I made one of everything already and then I'm going to make one with you and then I'll make the rest. Um, but um, here is the little paper clip. Well it's not little. It's actually a very good size. Um, I believe the ladybug is cut to be three inches. Um, and I used... Uh, heavy duty black hard stock um, for the base, you know, so nothing rips. Um, and I use pink paper clips from Staples. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So we're going to work over here. Um, and um, I cut out a little bow for her head. And then I added these little hearts to her an um, antennas. I was about to say antlers, and I was like. <laughs> That's not right. Um, and then I just used light pink cardstock. The cardstock, most of the cardstock that I use throughout all of these little projects is from this Pinks and Corals paper pad, hot by pad from Recollections. As you can see, uh, I kind of, this is normally a really thick pad, 48 sheets. I've already gone through and used a lot of it, especially the lighter colors. Um, uh, like the light, light pink, I don't even have like, Let's see, I have one sheet left of that, so I've been going through this like crazy. Um, so I'm, that was the first time even buying those, so I'm definitely going to start buying the 12 by 12 um, shade pads because it's a lot cheaper and than buying individual sheets of cardstock. Um, and you know, I normally just buy the brights chunk big 12 by 12 pad so um there's a pastel one now at walmart that um i want to pick up but anyways done rambling um so yeah we're gonna put this together and then i just used a heavyweight cards again heavyweight black card stock um i believe it's not even 110 pound i think it's even thicker than that it's like really thick um and those were individually bought um, um, and that's just a punch circle, and the circle size is, uh, one and a half inches, so it's the one and a half inch punch circle, so whatever circle punch, it just basically fits the back of this perfectly, and it makes this really, really sturdy, and yeah, so let's start. So like I said, oh. The image is from Cuddlebug, Cuddlebug, Doodlebug, is it Doodle? No, Create a Critter, sorry, not Doodlebug, why am I thinking Doodlebug? Create a Critter, the first one, um, because there is a second one, and like I said, see, like, I cut all them out and pieced them together, so you don't, you're not sitting here watching me glue a whole bunch of things, and at the time, um, I will share in this video, um, I had put together... A bunch of cutouts so I cut these ladybugs out at the same time and I kind of just pieced everything together so I cut out you know like I said four of each I have love bug I have this cute little mailbox um, I have the these cute little balloons they're so cute and then this says fab which I think is cute and I use glitter paper um, and like I said the cardstock is all with the recollections pad then it says I heart you um, so super cute and the collection um, that I chose to do these loaded hearts I'm making four 
is I'm using this Better Together paper pad that I picked up. So that's what I'll be using throughout. So that's what um, this paper's from. And did I just... Okay. So I punched out a medium-sized bow. This is an AliExpress die. Um, I don't know item numbers or anything, so if anyone's wondering, I can go back in my order log and check. So just comment and let me know. Um, so this one's uh, a medium bow from a set of three that I picked up. So we're going to put that together. And then I have my pink paper clip. Um, and the little enamel hearts that I use are the enamel hearts from Recollections. I have them out of the packaging, so I don't have an item number, but these are from Michaels, and I use these like crazy on projects. I love these, um, and I use the purple ones to tie in the purple from the bow, and then the flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and, um, they're just pink roses, and I took off where's my scissors oh they're my my other scissors are over there but I can use these um I actually peeled off this green because I did not want to see I didn't want to see the green because it just looked dumb and just didn't like it so oh and our punch circle duh all right so we're gonna put together our bow really easy you just fold it over I'm pretty sure everybody's made a made a bow and um, I'm just gonna use hot glue very lightly now my hot glue's been my hot glue gun's been on all day because I've been crafting all day so it's gonna be hot so I'm gonna try to do this without burning myself so um, probably I would recommend trying to use a low temperature hot glue gun um, I don't have a low temperature hot glue gun but yeah okay so you're just going to fold them over. Sorry if I was out of frame for a minute. Then I'm just going to glue that to the base. And then you wrap this around. Oops, wrong way. Now I always cut the bottoms out backwards. <laughs> so I got a white the white middle which actually looks cute instead of the patterned middle um but it depends on you um it's getting covered anyways so for me i'm just gonna glue my little flower on there and then i'm gonna glue this to my ladybug on an angle right there Just like that. Um, now, for the back, you're going to put a kind of like a thick glob of glue on the back there. I don't know if you can see that, but. Um, and then you're going to take the longer side, you know, not the paper clip side, because then you can't use it. Um, this side, and you're going to just stick it in there, just like that. You can even bring it down a little bit. And then what you do is you take your circle and, oops, I need another hot glue stick, sorry, apologize for reaching over. You're going to put a hot glue ring around the outside and then you're going to just fill in the center but not too much. You don't want it falling out everywhere and then you're going to put that right up against the edge of the bottom. And the way I do this is I press at the bottom first. See, now I have it coming out. But I press at the bottom first, and I'm going to pull out any of that hot glue that I don't want sticking out. And then you're going to press around the sides, and then press the middle. And then you still have a couple minutes to like maneuver this to make this straight because it's not going to be perfectly straight F when you glue it. So you have a little bit of some wiggle room. I'm trying to get... I'm a huge person and hate seeing hot glue, so there we go. Um, 
so you have some wiggle room to straighten this out evenly with the because it might look straight when you put it on but when you turn it this way this might this might be crooked to this so you want to make sure that it's nice and straight and then the last thing you do is you're going to add your little enamel hearts just stick them on like that and of course you can add um, other things whatever you want but super cute so there's the first video so yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to y'all soon bye guys